This is my latest SDR receiver. This is the SDRX that uses the RTL 283TU chipset. It's got four pre selector HF band switchable HF band pre selectors. Uh, currently, I've got it flashing, so it's in the 11 to 30 meg range on the HF band. Um, and I'm using SDR console 2.3. Beta version software, which is uh, just like Ham Radio Deluxe, but it works with RTL dongles. Um, let's give you a quick demonstration. Uh, at the moment, I've just got the HF antenna plugged in, USB lead straight to the computer. As you can see from the diagram there, there's the dongle, and it's got an up converter built in. Uh, so it's everything you want from an SDR receiver. Okay, this piece of software is just like Ham Radio Deluxe, has all the same functions, but for the life of me, I haven't been able to get so uh, Ham Radio Deluxe working with an RTL dongle. Uh, but this piece of software is absolutely superb. At the moment, I've been um, decoding PSK31 transmissions. As you can see up here, it comes on through now, gibberish. Obviously, I need to retune it. I can say the receiver is very sensitive. Um, I used before just a, a dongle and a Jally Labs RF up, up converter, but this being a meaty unit, um, certainly less wires around the place. Uh, I'll just give you a demonstration on how it works on some of the bands. Okay, first of all, the dongle, you need to set it for the HF bands up 100 for the up converter. I've got a 2 meg sample rate, so we should start there, if we drop it down to, let's say 7 meg, and right, 6 to 11 range, that is, ok, VFO, you can't see that very well, a bit bright this monitor for this phone, Okay, VFO, here we go. In fact, I'll just mute, mute it for a moment. Right, 7 meg we want. Okay. Here we go. Uh, over here we want... No, sideband. 7 meg starts around here, take the mute off. Still on. And we have no audio. Correct. Okay. There we go, audio. Okay. Just the span at the moment. I've got a 500 kilohertz span. That's from there, from there to there. It's 500 kilohertz. Uh, back to VFO. And we can use a mouse wheel to fine tune. Okay, as you can see up here, RF gain. If set to automatic. Oh, a little bit more gain there, but I've found the best optimal set is 14.4 decibels. Which gives me the best signal to noise ratio. So I've got lots of tinkering to do. This radio is brand new, turned up yesterday morning. This is the first time I've plugged it in. There's Let's just mute this. It's very well made and very neat. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but there's my old up converter, the dongle, and hundreds of wires plugged in the back here. I've got an amplifier there for the VHF and UHF bands. Um, now, I no longer need any of this, or even this homemade SDR radio out of an old modem case. This is a VHF optimised for the VHF bands. Um, could scrap all of that 
and just stick with my brand new SDRX. Um, out of all the ones I've tried, and I've had quite a few SDR receivers. Um, this is probably the best budget, if you can call it budget, it's quite still quite pricey, but this is probably the best performing SDR receiver I had, and obviously it works with SDR console version 2.3, beta version, um, which is just like Ham Radio Deluxe, you've got See, it's that new, I don't know how to use it, here we go. Uh, you've got your usual things like you find on Ham Radio Deluxe, satellite tracking, piece of software, excellent, I'll have to learn how to use that. Uh, you also got your digital modes here, PSK31, 63 and 125, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know any other SDR software that has all this combined, uh, so it's just like Ham Radio Deluxe. Um, Absolutely, absolutely superb. So if you're thinking of buying your first SDR receiver, save you messing about with all the add-ons you'll need, like an HF up converter and then everything else, this unit here is absolutely superb, and I'll be playing with it for the next few days. Thank you, hope this helps.